March 25 and it's already 3.38 p.m. It is going to be a random vlog. I just want to vlog and I don't know what will happen now here on the vlog. I'll be right back. One hour later. Hola senoritas, now it's 4.48 p.m. I did not do anything important before. I just scroll through my social media accounts. Speaking of social media, I'm sorry, I'm just playing ML, but I can still talk to you guys. I mean, I still tell you what I read. Anyway, speaking of social media, I read something on Facebook. It's a story of women who was going to get married, but I don't know how to explain it, but okay. It's a story of women who was about to get married her story posted on the secret files page she told how they met how this relationship started and she was supposed to get married but she chose herself over everything a few moments later so she could think and fix herself imagine for the first time in her life she chose herself over everything I was impressed because even though she really loves the man, even though it was almost her world, she let go. Imagine, it's really sad and heartbreaking. Oh yeah, I can blame the sender either because it will really happen in our lives. I mean, even me, I will choose myself over everything, especially when I'm not satisfied with myself because I don't want anyone to get involved I will fix myself I will choose myself so I can fix myself <laughs> because I don't want anyone to get involved I will choose myself so I will fix myself do you guys get it? <laughs> because because of what I read, I wrote a short poem. Actually, when I was in grade 11, we also did a short poem or poetry. SKL. One hour later. And now I am a grade 12 student and we also have a creative nonfiction subject. SKL. Out of nowhere, I mentioned. <laughs> Disclaimer, guys, I'm not good at making poetry or poem. I don't know how to read poem or poetry, but I'll try my best for you guys. Okay, this is the poem titled What If. What if all this time, all this struggle has been leading you to a beautiful chapter in your life? What if everything does work out, even if it doesn't seem like it right now? What if who I become is who I've needed all along? What if... All of this hard work leads to amazing things. What if you replace negativity with optimism? Would your thoughts and behavior change too? I believe so. Okay, this is my second short poem titled Scars. I suppose I love my scars because they have stayed with me longer than most people have. <laughs> okay, here's the other one titled, If He Says. If he says your body is ruined because it has been touched by another man's hands before his. Ask him, how many women's bodies have his hands ruined? And what is wrong? What is wrong in his mind? With a man's hands that they only know how to ruin a woman's body rather than love it. So, hola senoritas, that's it for today's vlog and I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you on my next video. Bye! <laughs> Ina mo
akong vlog. So for today's video, I'll be doing an educational vlog about creative writing. So first of all, what is creative writing? Creative writing is any writing that goes outside the bound of normal professional, journalistic, academic, or technical forms of literature, typically identified by an emphasis on narrative crafts, character development, and the use of literary tropes or with the various traditions of poetry and politics. One of the topics that creative writing has is the narrative writing. So, let's learn about narrative writing. Narrative writing can be broadly defined as a story writing, a piece of writing characterized by a main, char by a main character in a setting who encounters a problem or engages in an interesting, significant, or entertaining activity or experiences. What happens to this main character is what you call the plot, and the plot will follow the beginning, middle, and end sequence. The middle of the story is the largest, most significant part, which we all call the main event. The main event is really what the story is all about and involves either a problem to be solved or a significant life experience of the main character. Authors write narrative stories in order to entertain an audience of others, and that's what you call the author's purpose. There are five components of narrative writing. Those five components are the character, the settings, the plot, the plot, <laughs> the conflict, and the resolution. These essential, the, these essential elements keep the story running smoothly and will allow each action to develop in a logical way that the readers can follow. So the first one is the characters. The character are the individual that the story is about. The author should introduce the characters in the story with enough information that the readers can visualize each person. This is achieved by providing detailed descriptions of a character's physical attributes or personality traits. Every story should have a main character. The main character determines the way the plot will develop and is usually who will solve the problem the story centers upon. However, the other characters are also very important because they supply additional details, explanation, or actions. All characters should stay true to the author's descriptions throughout the story so that the readers can understand and believe the action that is taking place, and perhaps even predict which character may do what next. Next one is the settings. The setting is the location of an action. The author should describe environment or certain or surrounding of the story in such detail so that the readers can feel that he or she can picture the scene. Unusual settings such as the fantasy world can be very interesting, but everyday setting can help a reader to better visualize the story and feel connected to the plot. The next one is the plot. The plot is the actual story around which the entire book is based. A plot should have a very clear beginning, middle, and end. With all necessary descriptions and suspense, called exposition, so that the readers can make the sense of the action and follow along from the start to finish. The next one is the conflict. Every story has a conflict to solve. The, path, the plot is centered on this conflict and the ways in which the characters attempt to resolve the problem. When the story act the, when the story's action becomes most exciting right before the resolution, that's what you call the climax. And last, the resolution. The solution to the problem is the way the action is resolved. It is important that the, that the resolution fit the rest of the story in tone, in creativity, and solve all parts of the conflict. You or us as a writer, we can choose a we can choose to tell a story in any way we like. This is known as a point of view. There are three po popular forms of this point of view. The first one is the first person. In this point of view, a character is telling the story. And this, char is this character is typically the protagonist. But that's not the always, okay? You'll notice a lot of I, me, or we in the first person narrations. <clears throat> The first person narration allows you to get personal with your audience. It's as if one of the characters is speaking directly to his or her audience. We're able to listen on their thoughts. 
The audience will understand how their narrator is feeling and how he or she interprets the events taking place around them. The second one is the second person. In this point of view, the author uses a narrator to speak to the reader. You will you'll notice a lot of you, your, and yours in second person narration. Per second person narration isn't quite popular in literature. It takes on more of an in instructional tone. It uses a lot of you should or you can. It can forge a nice bond with the audience because it treats the reader like they're part of the story. The last one is the third person. In this point of view, an external narrator is telling the story. You'll notice a lot of he, she, it, or they in this form of narration. Third person narration is quite popular. It allows the, po the author to open up the hearts and minds of the several characters. With this form of narration, you could have two lovers, for example, who don't remain a mystery to the audience. Both of their thoughts and feelings are exposed to the readers, and the readers is now able to take the journey to discovery or heartbreak. Just like when you are reading a Wattpad stories, as you can see, they use point of views, right? But they often use the first person's point of view. But, but sometimes, at the end of the chapter, they will add a very, very short third person's point of view. Next, some of you may ask on May, may ask how to write a narrative. So here are some guides that will help you create a wonderful narrative story. The first one, establish your purpose. Decide first what you want to accomplish in writing your story. This creates a focus for the details that you want to include. There are some questions that will help you with your story's theme. Just like what overall message, theme, or experience you want to express. Would you be writing a personal narrative from your own experience or retelling a historical event or crafting an original piece of made-up fiction? Will you, I mean, do you want to make your readers laugh, cry, or tremble? These decisions will guide your story's theme. A humorous personal narrative, for example, may share an embarrassing experience that reminds your readers that a true friend will laugh with them and everything you write will work to that towards that purpose. The second one, choose your characters. This, the second one, choose your characters. Decide who you want your story to be about. You may want to you want may one you may want one major character with a cast of supporting characters or you may choose an ensemble cast who share the limelight. If you're writing a personal narrative you will be likely to be the main character. But for fiction, you need to create an engaging characters of your own. Whoever you choose to write about, give them personalities that will support your purpose and enough detail to make them come to life for your readers. The third one is craft a plot. In narrative writing, conflict always drives a plot. With no problem, you have no story. Decide an essential conflict, then outline the basic elements of your plot. Of your plot. The beginning that leads your characters into their conflict, a sequence of events that complicates the conflict and builds tension, a turning point that brings your conflict to the climax, and a sequence of events that leads to the problem's ultimate resolution. To keep track of your plot, it may be helpful to use a flowchart or write out a quick summary. Ensure that the conflict and its resolution will lead the readers to the message that you plan to share. A story meant to teach tolerance. For example, may focus around the character's struggle to overcome racial prejudice. The second, I mean the next one, is paint the backdrop. The setting or a story includes both the time and place of its event. Some plots may lend themselves to a certain setting, such as mountain for a story of stranded skiers. Consider the time period, the time of the year, the weather, the physical location, and how these elements may affect the events in your story and enrich the plot and conflict. The next one is find your viewpoint. Plan to write your story either from a first-person point of view, 
narrated by a character and using words like I or we on a third per or a third person point of view where an involved narrator tells someone else's story. For a first person narrator, decide if you want the main character or a peripheral character speaking. Consider how much this narrator will be able to reveal to the audience as a first person narrator can share only his thoughts, feelings, observations, and insights about the story's events. Let the third person narrator decide if you want your speakers to reveal the thoughts and feelings of all your characters or only those of the main characters. This will affect the details that you are able to reveal to your readers. The second one is create an atmosphere. Plan details and images throughout your story that create a mood for your readers, such as fear or sadness. This can be done through carefully placed images like cockroach and soiled linens in a CD motel room, or through the details of your character's actions and mannerisms, such as an eye twitch and a fearful glances over the shoulder. Your atmosphere should always support your story's purpose, so if your goal is to make your audience laugh, you probably, you probably won't include details that suggest a feeling of gloom. And finally, the last one, fill in the details. As you flesh out the details and dialogue that completes the story, use your original purpose as a guide. Don't allow yourself to go off track by including too many unnecessary details or rambling descriptions that don't support your theme. Include enough details to set your mood and make your story interesting and characters engaging, but not so many that your readers' attention is pulled from the central conflict and its resolution. So that's it. I hope you learned something from me and from this blog. So that's it. I hope you learned something from me and from this blog. Comment down below the next topic you want me to discuss and share with you. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell to keep you updated for my next videos. Once again, great day everyone and see you on my next vlog. Hello guys, my name is Emily Pitores. I'm gonna show you. Friends work 21 century. So we have here the and, and the expert. What is the name of the customs in for shipping? Storage description change. So a quality is a product that people make to the other to, to bring to other country and to to see the peoples that that the product is it's made in the other country to know and to buy it to the markets. So the suppliers is transferred to the airplane and shipping. The, they, they bring this to the airplane to travel to all the country and this shipping is they bring Sometimes there was a there was a there was a fake there was a illegal and we need to careful to these documents because sometimes there was a fake or there was a product 
that they can they can do anything from this to make their product of uh, money to get money or we need to careful for 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 this because there was a thing there was a legal that that product is used to the fake or illegal we need to call see this in the documents and read before you you accept the product that they give to the other country the amount is a total to the suppliers that transfer to the airplane or shippings and to to give to the people that they buy to the to that product that they can see the product is the or good or bad they can see that or the product is they have a damage or in the description and try okay. there was there was a storage in the the this caption change but the the shop is and the people are buying from that product and that was the That is a uh, looks like a business business to big to bigger the money that brings to the other country to support the supplier that they can they can give a money because because to the suppliers they know we know all about the suppliers is so many people buying that that supplies that the quality is bigger and bigger and higher that's all thank you i'm gonna show you a letter from globalization this is a globalization This is the picture of globalization that there was a woman and there was some buildings and there was some money. So a technologies are using the machine to help us. This is the good to use a technologies. Now from the pandemic we can use a machine or using a gadgets because because there was a pandemic. We can go out because we can help them. We can go if we are not pleased that we can work from that. That you don't have a virus and save yourself. That you can you can use a gadget to message from the from the factory that you can go have a work from that that you can see what is the technologies using from them we have a Wi-Fi to use networks and we have a cell phone to use our our te technologies that we can serve this is good for our because there was a pandemic today and the next one is population so many population here in 
the Philippines because there was no money, there were there no was work and there was er, there was not good from their country that there was killed dead and no works from that and here in the Philippines they go here because the peoples are working hard from their family and and you can see from the the our earth is it's it's so helpfulness and careness from our other people that they can see what is the globalization that they can know that others that they can believe to our belief in ourselves that we can do the next one is economy economy is the one of the workers from the people and we need to to move space from each other because because there was a pandemic and that is help from our safety we need to bring up facial and and masks to wear and bring alcohol to our hands if we help buy something or bring to other shops um, example me and there was a people we cannot talk but we can we can say from that we just one from that we want to say something from others so that was the economy because or there was there was a We can we can close that, but it's not helping. This is not helps from our, our this is from our business. That there was a bankrupt business. So that was the economy. Said. From the ano, from from culture, from the other culture, they can. They can go here and buy anything. There was married from the other and go here because there was a work and there was a family that they need and that they go to the others from the country to know the language and see the the Philippines are so beautiful from this place that we can do whatever they want from the cultures to do good services from our manners, respect and fairness. We can we can say that because the, the, here in the Philippines are good helping and careless that they can help if you have a problem from aggression for your family or there was a country that they they go from that place. So